Frittata is on the menu for this episode of Delicious and Nutritious with our own Tom and Chef Jerry Levine. What's all this here? Okay, today we're going to do a potato artichoke uh, frittata. What is a frittata? A frittata is an Italian omelet and it is delicious and it's relatively simple and it's got some great flavorful things in there. Uh, I've got my eggs, I got a tiny bit of milk here, a little bit of olive oil, some potatoes which I will drain just before we start cooking, onions, uh, artichoke, fennel, fennel, it's anise flavor, dynamite. Okay, we've also got chives and my favorite cheese, Pecorino Romano. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do First is, thing that we're going to do is I'm going to get out of your way and let you go to work. Well, I would appreciate that. Okay. That is very nice of you, Tom. Thank you for stopping by, and uh, uh, I will have a little dish of something for you to eat later. Sounds great. Okay, I need to turn on the stove, and we are going to start... As soon as I drain the potatoes right here. Okay. The potatoes are now going into the saute pan. By the way, this is what I call a 10 inch saute pan. Uh, and it is a non-stick saute pan, but if you'll notice the handle, it's all metal. And the reason for the metal is because it's going to go into the oven. Uh, I would be careful, though, that uh, if you're, when you're working with this, is to use some kind of a glove or a pad, because otherwise you could end up uh, burning yourself. So, we are going to take a uh, and, and cook our potatoes for just a bit. Okay, now that we have sauteed our potatoes, and you, you notice there's a little bit of color on them, not a huge amount, because I didn't want to overcook them. I wanted them just slightly soft. Now, I'm going to put in some onions, and uh, oh, by the way, it did take about 10 minutes at a medium temperature to uh, do the sauteing of the potatoes. And now we're going to do for about five minutes some onions. And we're just going to get them nice and soft, not cook them. They don't have to have a huge amount of color. Done. Okay, we've done our five minutes of sauteing our onions. And they're slightly soft, but you notice there's not an awful lot of color on them. So that is where we are. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pan off the heat, and we are going to take our eggs, and we're going to add our, our quarter cup of milk to it. And we're going to actually use a larger bowl because I don't want to splash these things all over the place. So. There we go. And that is there. And artichoke. Nicely diced. Fennel. Nicely diced. Chives. And again, nicely diced. And our Pecorino Romano cheese. Oh, the smell of this stuff just drives me berserk. I love it. And that's in there, and we mix. Now, what we're going to do is once I f feel that it's mixed nice and uniformly, I'm going to take this and put it into our saute pan with our potatoes, 
that have been sauteed and our onions that have been sauteed and a little, little, a little bit of olive oil that went in there also. Okay, we are just about ready for that. And I want you to watch what I'm going to do because I want to try to level it off so it comes out in a nice flat way. Okay, so first thing we do is kind of loosen up everything here. And it shouldn't, we really shouldn't have to do too much loosening. All right, there we go. And the egg mixture is going to go in. And you can just pour the whole mixture right in there. And get it in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of mix it all around because we want the eggs to get down in the bottom where the potatoes are. So the potatoes are going to have some eggs underneath them as we are cooking. So we're going to kind of flip and mix and do a lot of flipping and mixing and another flip and a mix and what I want you to do is take a good look at this and look at the colors we've got here. We've got the, the yellow from the eggs, we've, we've got the uh, whiteness of the potato, the, the, uh, the greenness, uh, and we also have some of the other two colors, which is the fennel, but the fennel is going to give us a really nice smell to it. And how many people use fennel? I love fennel because it's got a nice little anise flavor to it. So we're going to do this right now. And notice how flat I've made this. And that is really important to me. So we're going to take it and we're going to turn around and face our oven. And the oven is at 350 degrees. And we're middle shelfing it. And you're saying 350, that's not a very high temperature. No, it's not. But we're going to cook it at, uh, at a fairly long period of time. It's going to be cooking for 15 minutes. The reason being is I don't want the eggs to get rubbery. I, wa I want them to be firm but not rubbery. So I'm not I, I'm cooking them at a very high temperature. Okay. How long does it go in there at 350? It goes in there for approximately 15 minutes. So you need, you need to be watching this because you don't want to overcook it. And then, of course, you don't want to undercook it. Now, how do you know when it's actually done? Well, you can take uh, a wooden spoon, if you'd like, and press on the top a bit after 15 minutes. And if it's nice and firm and there's no runningness to the top of it, it's done. So you can also use a thermometer. Uh, the thermometer may be 160 degrees, but it, it, it's really, you really don't need to use a thermometer. The press method works extremely well because if the egg is not cooked, it's going to be runny. If it's for cooked, then it's nice and firm. But you overcook it, and you, it is too firm. All right, let's wait and finish our cooking. Okay, we have our frittata. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. But look at the colors. Notice the, the, the slight coloration on the potato here and the, the, the green on the chives. And then over here, I, I see a little piece of artichoke and and look at the eggs, the, the nice yellowness on the eggs. And as I said, it's nice and firm. So it hasn't been undercooked. And if I did it right, it hasn't been overcooked. That's a good thing. So, frittata, F-R-I-T-T-A, Italian. This is dynamite. So let's, uh, 
let's cut my producer a slice. So I get my slicer here, and I will actually... This looks great. Well, Tom, I, I appreciate your saying that, but you say that about everything that I make. Oh, you make everything great. What can I say? Well, I'm glad you think that way. There we go. And look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? And did you see a little piece of cheese pull yep. away? Yep. Oh, man. Okay. That looks awesome. Producer Tom, tell me what you think. This is delicious. And also, it's nutritious. So that's what we have here, delicious and nutritious. And to me, it's easier than making the American omelet. Uh, actually, it is not difficult to make. All you really need to do is you saute some of your vegetables, and it doesn't have to be potatoes. It can be anything you want. And, and then you make, uh, mix your egg uh, mixture, and you can put in whatever you feel like putting in with your egg mixture. Uh, usually I like a little salt and pepper, but I haven't put in any hot sauce. But Tom, if you really want to try something, put a little bit of red hot sauce on it, and it, is, it, it just pulls out the flavor. It's great. I would imagine it would be. This is great. If. If you're interested in this, follow us on YouTube, and third Friday of every month, we do a Zoom show. Join us. Get the recipe. Everybody gets the recipe, and it's not hard to cook. You're going to love it. Ciao for now. Take care. Delicious and nutritious. Bye now. Thank you for watching. We're grateful for your attention. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe to the local scene here and share everywhere. Thank you, friends.